choice, Bumblebee. The war is lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been a long, painful war with the Decepticons. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our best and last hope, my friend. Hey, everybody. Whoa, this is Henry Gilbert from GamesRadar.com, and I'm here with Lucas Sullivan. What's more up? Unstable. At this rate, it may close before we even get there. And so this is the demo for Transformers Fall of Cybertron. This is a little start here. Looks like it's the beginning of the game, too. This is supposed to be the Bumblebee stage. So here you see it's the Autobots are in the Ark that they built at the end of the last game, War for Cybertron. And at the end of that, they're escaping Cybertron because it's falling apart, and they lost the war to the Decepticons. That's not good. He's been through worse. Voice chip is still crushed. Nothing new there. Base energon levels are almost normal. Overshields are charging up. I need to test your retinal scanners. Follow the light. <laughs> uh, the old follow the light. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic. Go. I know how to use a right stick. There we go. How are your optics? What? <laughs> the game inversion? Yeah, sure. That's I am good with that inversion. Uh oh. I'm a medic. Slap a muffler on it. Take them out, Bumblebee. Hey, what about you? <laughs> Uh, slow motion shooting. <laughs> oh, one more up the top. All right, there we go. More Decepticons are trying to pull. Right to it, eh? Man, these graphics are nice. Yeah, the game is beautiful. Jump. There we go. Now, this, uh, I really liked the first War for Cybertron, but it had one of those signs of, like, this could be a lot better. Like someday they'll make a sequel that'll be awesome. You yeah, know, this so. is uh, this is that. I am hoping so. Right. so. Here we go into Bumblebee. What? Really? Where are they? Whoa! So this was one of my annoyances in the first game, and it's coming up again. Is like. In the show, there's really only like 12 Autobots and 12 Decepticons that matter. But in this, you'll be killing a whole lot of Decepticons <laughs> that are like no-name grunts. They're putties, basically. Yeah, they're putties. Well, they're just faceless robots, you know. Megatron won't give up that easily. I was thinking of Toonami when I hear this prime voice. That's the original prime voice, too. Authorized <laughs> Your precious art will never reach that portal. Oh god. So that's not the original Negatron or Megatron. I will tear your ship apart piece by piece. The original Megatron voice was uh, the same voice as Freddy on Scooby Doo. <laughs> I did not know that. And he's still alive. I'd rather play as Prime, to be honest. Bumblebee was like my little brother's favorite, but he's just so lame. He turns into a, a little car like who cares? Well, so, you only play as What is each... this guy doing? Does he want to go through this door or doesn't he? <laughs> like, what? Or am I supposed to? Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> Teletram system failure. The network is down. Without the false cannons, Optimus won't stand a chance. You have to the system back. This is pretty intense for a first level. Yeah, well, they want to grab you from the start. You know how it is. The interesting thing, too, is that this is starting... The ship it's starting on, this is the same ship in the cartoon that they go to planet Earth on. And so I think you're supposed to assume you're going to be going to planet Earth at the start of this, and then instead the Decepticons are blowing up your ship. <laughs> and that dude. <laughs> you all right? Can you so this it over? obviously still takes place on Cybertron, because it's the fall of Cybertron. You're not going to be leaving it, and yet here we are on the ship, so... <laughs> Betting by the end of this thing, the ship is going to be crashing. Uh, hurry! I'll hold it open for you! Oh, is that the... Who's that guy? What? Ah, oh, dash. The service lift is just ahead. I think that guy is the one that turns into both a helicopter and a truck. Oh, he's in the movie. The other thing I like about this is that there's so much... Um, 
so many references to the to the film in this, the original 1985 animated film. Not the You'll have to dash midair to get across. Dash midair, eh? Did that guy just Ooh. die? <laughs> yeah, they get pulled outside. If, did you ever watch the cartoon movie as a kid in the 80s? <laughs> I never did. And it, uh, Transformers die left and right. Like, they're just shot in the face and killed. Like, it's very, it gets really dark. That's, uh, that's and it, it follows the same kind of formula. All right, I put the thing in the thing, and that restarted the thing. This should probably lead to another objecti- uh, objective. Objective. too close quarters to fire your weapon. <laughs> You'll have to punch through the safety locks. Ooh, punch the safety locks, you say? All right, boom. <laughs> but yeah, the um, the creators of this game, High Moon Studios, they have a lot of respect for the old the old game or the old series. Like that was the They've thing done they did. Homework. Whoa! Yeah, that was the best part of the original game. It's just how much they uh, oh, how much they cared about making a great Transformers game. You know. Boy, this thing is much bigger than it seems. Okay. Those flames will bubble your paint if you don't haul acids. Sprint through! That energon will call your chassis. In here, Bumblebee! I can use a hand! Decepticons! Dropping in from above! Change your shooting hand for better aim and cover! That's cool. Yeah, though this doesn't have an actual cover mechanic. There's things to hide behind. But it's not actually, like, cover. Oh. Well, I mean, it is, but you're not sticking to it. It's not sticky cover. Which was another thing I was hoping they would deal with in the, uh, sequel, but no dice. Here's another thing I didn't get it. Whoa, I am taking a lot of damage. <laughs> the defense mainframe is just through that door. Anyway, here was another thing I didn't get, that, uh, you can shoot Autobot, you shoot Transformers in the head, and it works like a headshot. Like... They're just Maybe all their, all their good circuitry is up there. So. I guess so. Ah, sweet, sweet energy. <laughs> Let's open this up. Easy now. Your pulse rifle could melt that whole panel. Think you can rush him from there. Rush him? Okay. <laughs> oh, right through the hole. That's perfect. That's fun. A little, uh, this is a bit more cinematic and shiny than uh, War for Cybertron is. Uh -oh. War for Cybertron also works as a really good like origin story. Like you get to see how Optimus became Optimus. Oh, cool. Charge your alternator back into gear. Transform and roll out. All right, time to transform and roll out. Control <laughs> set. Yes. I don't know if I'm happy or not at this point. I, holy whoa. moly! <laughs> Room. Really fast. I'm holding the left trigger, aren't I boosting? I I was boosting the whole time. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... It takes a little press of the left stick to change. That's well, some point. Nope, that away, huh? Thanks, Thank nondescript you transformer <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> <laughs> they're red, meaning they're your friends. Yeah? What do you think the odds are now? This is already better than all the movies combined. Over oh, yeah. here, Bumblebee! Fresh supplies! I also like they show more than a few like moments taken directly from the movies that I've seen so far. Though uh, in other demos. The art I... can't take much more of this! We'll never make it through that portal! Have faith in Optimus, soldier! 
Yeah. <laughs> Trust Optimus Prime. Straight back to Cybertron. Wait, we're going back to Travis Cybertron? You want to be tip of the spear? We're right behind you. All right, let's equip oh, that him. That's it's a pretty big weapon. But it becomes like part of your arm. In case you know, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. The weapons are, yeah. Oh, sprint. I'd rather drive the fire. Ooh, sprint running fast. That's, uh, I don't remember Target sprinting right. either before. Target right! I'm hit! Shut down! Whoa. That's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's pretty good. I'm not much of a stop and think type. <laughs> I'll clear you a wedge. Who is this big thing? No, I've never seen him before. Keep pushing! Optimus needs us! Air 18 to ground! That last blast took a toll on Optimus! You wanna help? The time is now! We're almost through! There we go. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Oh, out! Shoot. Now uh, let's different weapon, right? What do you, what do you do for a different weapon? It's Y. Ah, uh, Y. Thank you. There we go. Is everybody right? Yeah, full clear. All right. He made it. He's through. Who said that? I can't see anything, but my scanners say Optimus should be right on top of you. Whoa! Oh, now we get to watch Optimus fight Me- Oh, come on. <laughs> Man, right, we're going to watch Optimus fight Megatron. Ugh. That was pretty cool. Looks like there's Stealth X, and there's Metroplex, the Transformer that is a city. <laughs> and there's the uh, Bruticus, I believe his name is. Oh, it's a, oh. a rush. Thing. Yeah, man. Uh, I wish we could have played as Dinobots, but they're saving that. But <laughs> the, also, the Dinobots, the voice of the uh, uh, the voice of uh, the original Dino, the original voice of uh, Grimlock, the king of the Dinobots. He's the uh, he's back is Grimlock in this game. Nice. All right, now for the uh, Decepticon portion of the demo. Death from above. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Bumblebee is definitely better in his cartoon incarnation. Yeah, I uh, me, I still don't like Bumblebee. <laughs> it's weird to play his Vortex also. Now we're in Chapter Six. That's a far way into the game. Is the Autobot transport carting away my energon? Good old Starscream. I love Starscream. Our energon, <laughs> Starscream. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, Megatron. <laughs> that idiot shockwave allowed the Autobots to steal every last drop. Luckily, I have devised a plan <laughs> to steal it back. I love his theatricality. <laughs> Very well, Onslaught. You explain the plan. Combaticons, listen up! Oh, the Combaticons, they're not Bruticus, they're the, the Combaticons. And into a sky ambush led by Starscream. We will accomplish this by destroying the bridge in this sector. Swindle, I want you to patrol the area to deal with any Autobot scouts who would give us away. You bet. Blast off, Vortex! You'll need to clear a shortcut through this canyon to the bridge. Sounds simple enough. Brawl will follow in a dropship and blast the supports to bring the bridge down. Hmm. I like blasted stuff. <laughs> Once the transport changes course, we will join Starscream's ambush and reclaim what's ours. Remember, See, the Combaticons were another popular buy five of the toy to get the big yes. toy. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah. It's the classic trick. Just like well, the Constructicons. Let's hit it, Vortex. After you, blast off. A helicopter cannot move as fast as that. Like that's, that doesn't really fit. <laughs> 
Ah, we're the helicopter, are we? No load ties, nice. Get to the bridge and destroy it before the Autobot trip. Ah, I see, okay. You tuck away your blades and then you actually go kind of fast. What is this place? Ancient Autobot City. No one's been here for ages. Reminds me of how we trashed Ayaka. Oh, boy. I thought I was following him the right way. I was not, uh... Let's fly through this ring. Alright. Jeez, Louise. Okay, I hit the... Uh, Alright. point, Vortex. I'll flush out any trouble. You back me up. What is that thing? Scrap! It's chasing me! That was close, Blastoff! I thought you said this place was deserted! Right! Yeah, I guess so. A heavier one for breaking walls down. Nice of him to leave a little purple trail for me to follow. I'm ready! Yeah. Come on, shoot the... Right, there we go. <laughs> I'm glad they, like, had to just say, well, this guy is a helicopter, but he's, he's really a jet. <laughs> I wish I was playing a Starscream now, I have to say. Onslaught. I didn't make any chance. Bridge destroyed yet? We're working on it, Starscream. I'm hoping at the end of the stage you transform into the full Combaticon, and then you get to fight as a giant. That Autobots must know we're coming. They keep getting in our way. Stop right there, Decepti creeps! Keep Decepti your hands where we can see them. Hey, Vortex, use your shockwave now! All right, boo! Whoa! Oh. Man. <laughs> They're trying to cut us off from the transport. Move it, blast off! Do not lose that trans. Gonna be tight. <laughs> Vortex, you should have followed him. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I'm working on it. Work faster. We need to bring that bridge down before the transport can cross it. Darn it. There we go. Sorry, guys. I have a name, so I get to live longer than you. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, it's got auto lock on. That'll make things a bit easier for me. <laughs> Boom. I don't even have to look at <laughs> paint. I just need to paint you once with it. There we go. <laughs> oh, out of ammo. These things never last. <laughs> also, this game had a nice, uh, just like the first one, this game has a nice mix of recharging shields and... Uh, and regular health so your shields can recharge uh so there is recharging health but it does kind of matter taking damage like and getting more energy on to refill so you can be a little careless but not completely yeah not there we go from that guy. <laughs> good come back vortex Also, you see there's kind of an economy to this game. Like, I saved up enough money to... Oh, I had picked up enough, like, credits to buy more health or to buy this better weapon. Oh. That sure looks like a door I'm supposed to go through. Nope. All right. Have I not killed enough guys yet? What am I missing? If I fly oh, up here, ah, of course. Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, did I transform into the worst possible <laughs> place? I 
keep forgetting that you can transform. <laughs> Even though it's a whole name of the thing, I just sometimes it's, uh, you, you can do it. Really. You can do it. Um, uh, oh shoot! He still threw that grenade. Oh, shockwave! <laughs> Shields back up. All right, now there's finally oh, things telling me to go somewhere. Ready to go. Push the button. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was slightly there. different than pressing the button and just making it open. <laughs> Oh, I definitely need that energy. <laughs> there we go. Let's get a little better lay of the land from up here. Oh. It's brutal. Well, this really makes brutal. it different when you can actually just start flying and shooting your nades at people. Oh. Now I killed enough that I can go through the storm. The shockwave, that took care of. Oh, kind of. Are you even aiming at me? All right. Jesus. <laughs> even before Energon became so scarce. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to the story. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right. I bet I was close to a checkpoint there. Let's just restart at that checkpoint. That's it. <laughs> that audio log waits for no man. Yeah. All right. So, still open that. Uh, wait. Now we're in. Okay. Yeah. I think that thing counts. Boy, you can't just run right in there, can't you? Uh, that was a lot of a lot of dudes shooting. All right, I was not being careful, <laughs> but this time, <laughs> this time will be I careful. will be really careful. I'm transform, shoot a bunch of grenades over there. You, get, you shouldn't transform indoors, I suppose. <laughs> it's like umbrellas. Yeah, it's bad luck. <laughs> That's a thing they teach you at transformer school. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, think I did it that time. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I bet over here safe. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> come on. That wasn't going to be a giant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Shockwave. Whew. That thing saved my butt a lot of times. Let's wave that old shield regenerate and, and head out help, over here. Uh, behind you to the left. Oh, no, yes. but that's um. Onslaught! The transport is equipped with heavy anti-aircraft guns. Hear that, Starscream? Do not attack from the air. I will make my own decisions, Onslaught. <laughs> that jerk, Starscream. <laughs> All but him. Oh. There we go. Oh, I see. It's flying time, eh? No, but not fast. All right. <laughs> Cover. Onslaught, we breached the bridge. You! How are we supposed to take down something that size? Brawl's artillery attack should be able to destroy the supports underneath the bridge. Get in position and start shelling. Boom. All Man, right, that ran way smooth. Yeah, I did really great. <laughs> 
<laughs> not, not ragging on your skills, Henry. More the actual scope of the level. No, yeah, I like... No, I'm very excited. I'm surprised they went with Vortex instead of the more famous ones. Ah, see, there's a Combaticon transforming into stuff. Well, if I'm not mistaken, like, he plays a different different uh, Autobot or Decepticon in every level. Yep, yeah, and they mix it up. It's not... In the first game, it was two separate, the Autobot and Decepticon campaigns, but now they're together. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, this also has a multiplayer uh, function to it, which uh, you should check out. I, I played it recently. It was pretty cool, especially you could uh, build your own Transformer in it, which nice. uh, I thought was very interesting. Like, it, As someone who played with Transformers as a kid, I would have always wanted to build my own. It's not just about loadout. It's about look and how you define the look of them as their regular uh, like robot size. Uh, the changes are reflected in the transformed car form as well. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's out August 21st uh, on the 360 and the PS3. The PC version is coming out a little bit after this, but you can download this demo now on the PS3 and the 360. you got to have a gold account for the 360 version. Uh, who doesn't have a gold account? <laughs> uh, but anyway... So, uh, we'll talk to you later. This is Henry Gilbert from GamesRadar.com and, and Lucas Sullivan, also from GamesRadar. See you okay. later. Bye.